Matt Schlapp was accused of groping the groin area of one of his staffers in 2022 and inviting him back to his hotel room. And well, two years later, he just paid this guy $480,000. Matt Schlapp is the chairman of the ACU, the American Conservative Union that runs CPAC, the Conservative Political Action Conference that many presidents and future presidents have spoken at. And yes, I understand this is an accusation, but 480,000 clams? Look, I'm not asserting guilt or anything, but like so many conservatives, this is a married family man, a man of God, etc. allegedly. Not saying he's not, but in a prominent figure in conservative culture, as it were, conservative power, etc. And look, I understand the idea that your character gets smeared with accusations and they're not necessarily true, and most of the time they probably are, and the left and the mainstream media seeks to demonize people that are in positions of power, etc. But this guy reported it like pretty immediately after it happened, whether it did or didn't, and avoiding trial by paying the guy nearly half a million dollars? Doesn't look good, you know? Now look, I understand that a lot of people will chalk this up to friendly fire, you know, like, why are you coming after someone in the moment? But dude, it's important to bring up things and opinions about both sides. Myself and so many people like myself that think like me feel constantly disrespected by people on my supposed side. So I don't really have much of a side anymore. And I understand that these stories are basically red meat for the other side and certainly for the media and Rolling Stone and all these other garbage media outlets. And I understand the high cost of legal bills, etc., and the fact that this guy sued for like nine million and he's getting away at for like half a million, whatever. And I'm no legal expert and I understand the high costs of court cases, etc. But to just pay the guy half a million bucks, it certainly doesn't look good. And just to throw it out there, this is like a he said, she said, right? It's like no one was in the car except for the guy, right? Which means that it probably would be hard to prove if it even happened at all. So there would be interviews and statements of other people that saw them that night, like maybe they were drinking or you never, or whatever else, or maybe interviewing other people that may have had similar experiences one way or the other. And even though I understand the waste of money, waste of time, whatever, but it's likely that Matt Schlapp had more resources than this staffer. So letting the guy take you to court and prove the case or not prove the case and winning and getting to throw it in the face of all these outlets that pretended or said or suggested that it was real might have been a good look. Perhaps it would have also discouraged future frivolous cases from being brought to the light. But instead, it kind of suggests that something more perhaps would be unearthed as a result of the investigation, the interview, and perhaps it will encourage more of them as you could just say somebody grabbed your groin and walk away with 500 racks. But whatever, you know what I mean?